Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we go on an epic journey to try and find one of these moisturizers and it's almost as difficult as trying to find rice or flour on the shelves currently. So anyway, with that topical joke, I hope y'all enjoy the episode and I'll be with you in a second. Uh, what was he wearing? I don't even know. Um, oh dude, he could maybe wear... Uh, oh, I think he was wearing... Oh, the Mandalorian body armor. Alright, okay. And here, let's see, you want your, um, uh, Zabrach, yeah. What do I, what did I, did I have him with a, I think I had him with a heavy weapon. Uh, it's a blaster pistol, technically, blaster pistol. Blaster pistol, blaster rifle, bow gasser. Heavy weapon. All right, light repeating blaster. Uh, fourteen. So, so his is seven to sixteen damage on that. Uh, it looks like it's this one. Kid, I cannot remember. Oh my gosh. You don't think liking lingerie... Well, it is when you get weird about it. When you get like... Like, what is it? Um, like ritualistic and uh, worshipful about it. When you make it look stupid and impractical. Maybe we could say this guy, it was like an obsession. And then... It didn't translate well. They're like, somebody needs to design underwear. And the lingerie fetish was like, fetishist guy was like, me! Hmm? And then we got stuck with this. Now you can't just say fetish to insult. You know what fetish actually is? A fetish, um, back in the 60s, was used anthropologically, and it was technically a, a ritualized object. And then Freud ruined the term fetish um, by using it as, like, basically in place of obsession. Um, or, like, there was a slight difference in that, like... Uh, something was fetishized if it was like worshipped and like ritualized essentially um but like in anth anthropologically speaking uh, uh, like, like, like you could have like this is gonna sound weird but you have like a corn fetish and what like a corn doll fetish and what that actually was was an object that was imbued with ritualistic powers that was like supposed to like help um like fertility or corn you know growth or rain or something they were supposed to be like magical mm -hmm. items essentially and then Freud was like let me take this term and pervert it like he did with freaking everything space underwear it has to look different no geek shaming 2020 ah, there are some that I feel um, perfectly fine in king shaming mm. yeah it, yeah that's what I was saying Like it's a it's a it's a it's a a fetish object is technically um, a ritualistic object viewed with like certain specific powers and I, I think they were used more medicinally than anything else. But yeah, anyway, he can't go under the shade of this thing. So, but yeah, but then Freud was the one who turned it around and made people think of it in like a sexual way because that's all Freud did ever was make everything about sex. Oh dang, I didn't equip my my weapon. Uh, did I have a double bladed lightsaber? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Did I? Did I have a double blade laser? <laughs> Stop, dog. I might have to go let him out in a second once we get back into into town, into Anchorhead. 
There's a boy. There's a boy. There's a little puppy boy. Who's a puppy? Give him ear scritch. He loves ear scritches. I'm not very good at it. My housemate gives the best ear scritches, apparently, to him. I was like, can I get in this way? Got kind of worried there. All right, time to buy some freaking... You guys look you guys look fairly distinct. All right, where would one go? Droid shop, cantina, swoop registration, hunting lodge. Uh, I don't know where to get these. Okay, first though, I am going to let the dog out real quick cuz he's being a weirdo, but then I have to figure out where to buy. Well, there was that trader. There was a trader in the spaceport, I remember. So maybe I'll go talk to that trader. Oh, okay, spaceport. Spaceport, 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 spaceport. Is this anything? Nope. Mowing bad? Mowing good. Uh, my, my friend, my housemate's been um, working on a garden too. It's been coming along. I think we were supposed to like do some more with that today, but we'll see. Uh, 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 uh. Other way. Go green. What we would really love to do, honestly, is get rid of the sand that we've got, or the sand. Uh, the, the grass back there and um, replace it with like um, native grasses that only like the kind of grasses that only grow to like you know shin height you know and you don't have to mow and it kind of helps local ecology so but it's expensive to do that so all right hello oh god yeah, show me what you have for sale. Smilia! Combat suit, long sword. Oh man, you're not gonna have any, are ya? <gasps> Giska poison! Oh no! Okay, so I don't see. Um, I guess I could sell though my my sand people outfits. Put it down here. Oh jeez. Yeah, it was Gizka poison. That was so sad. So sad. Or I can't sell them because they're technically quest specific. All right. Well, how oh boy. Um. Mm, let me. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Maybe I go to the Zerka headquarters. The Zerka office? I don't know why they would have any. What are we doing? We're trying to get the... The things. We're trying to get the ventilator things. Vaporators, that's what they're called. Did I loot this already? I did not. What a fool. Hello, give me vaporators. I want to buy something. Whoa, yes. What do you have available for purchase? I am. You have any moisture vaporators? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, vap the vaporators are just going right in our bag of holding. It's not really your concern, is it? 
Nova Muri Raji Lai Kuka, Chiwi Aita Ka Chong Chicha, Agi Uko Tuni, Chunamuri. Two of the finest vaporators they produce, but they only produce one kind. Okay, that's fine. I have plenty of money. I'll take them. Baba Hassan Shan. Nova Muri Raji Lai Kuka, Kakin Cha Nawabakaon. I thought it was going to be 400 each. It was not. Alright, we did it. Alright, I didn't realize you could buy stuff in here. Honestly. I know, surprisingly light. Haha. -ha. We're not game breaking in the slightest. Now we got to haul all the way back out there. Whoop, did I freaking... Where am I going? What the heck? This place is a maze! Man, it would be so cool to see this in, like, current graphics, honestly. It would be real neat. Oh, wait. Uh. Nope, okay. Let me turn. Because I think, I think, hopefully, if we can get friends with the sand people, hmm? we can then go into the sand dunes and get Candorus's quest done, which is the whole reason we've been out here. It is a pretty monstrous looking machine. I mean, although, you know, the, the sand people don't necessarily have to, but if they, you know, talk to people and told them, you know, hey, here's, like, ritualistic areas or whatever, please don't come in, they'd still probably have problems, but the fact that the sand people don't talk to anybody doesn't help, but at the same time, if they did talk to them, it probably still wouldn't help, you know? So, they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh, is this? <laughs> oh my gosh! After all, I see you oh my gosh! As well, ha! Indeed, I did. I foresaw that you might need help, so I arranged a distraction. Oh my gosh! All I had to do was walk on this side of the freaking machine to trigger it. <laughs> Uh, you talk too much and do little. Big words from such a small. You're a human. But I know why he brought you here, and you shall regret his choice. Enough of this talk, Joggy. Let's and, do what we can. And why are you to turning do. to look at me? Let's do it, Candorus. And you shall all die. <laughs> I think I can. Yeah, buddy. Fight. Fight, fight. We just, right before the fight happened, we can save. <sighs> Here we go. Whoop, no, that's the wrong. Whoop, okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Mm, let's see. Mm, sure. I don't know, we might be... <laughs> now they notice. Hang on, let me do a quick throw. Oh, dang. How close do I gotta be to throw it? Oh, I was hoping to I could just do that from afar. Apparently not. Oh, also, I need to conserve my... Well, here, let's try again. Um... You guys... Shoot that one. Can you reach him? Oh, they are. They are attacking him. Okay, good. I'm gonna throw another cryo grenade. Oh, dang. I didn't even click on him. I honestly don't know how that happened. 
Oh, he died fast. Okay. Also, he was like, he didn't even have a gun in his hand. Alright, that was, uh, real fast. Oh, yes. How are you feeling, Candorous? How was it? I... I think this has affected me in ways I, I didn't what? anticipate. I think I'll need time to sort things out. Thanks for what you did. Whatever your intentions might have been. I just what? need What? What? I don't... I don't understand! What do you mean, whatever my intentions might have been? I'm your friend. I came here to help you out. <laughs> what do you want from me? And I thought he was like, uh, like, is he having, like, feelings about killing a fellow Mandalorian? Like, is he having feelings? Candorous doesn't have feelings. Uh, do you remember the shopkeeper near the ship, Lemonzy, or was the lull by for something else? I mean, I can't, while we're here, I freaking might as well just finish this off, and I guess I don't have to go out to the dunes right now. That was, that was very easy, oh, that fight. You don't remember anything? Okay, nice, yeah. Uh... Oh, it, that's weird. That's weird, right? <laughs> Are these guys gonna attack me now that I'm not dressed up? I'm like waiting for the game to pause. I feel like the Banthas are gonna like freaking turn around and... Crap, save. Okay. <laughs> save. Uh... Candorous feelings. Okay, have fun selling turnips! I apparently have a free pass to be here for now. I really want to go talk to Candorous now on the ship, though. I'm very curious what happened there in his head. Uh, yeah. Extrapolation. Oh, okay. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Tell him we have the moisture converters. Translation. Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Thanks. Glad we could get that sorted. It seems he is surprised. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Certainly have. Uh, yes, we have. I keep having this option. We've done, we've gone far enough. We need to attack him after dragging these all the way out here. Tell him we have his vaporators. Translation. Uh, you're very close to me, though. Translation. He does not trust you, Master. But you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation, the attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in okay. death. Okay, I have a few questions. Protocol, if you truly want this sadly peaceful... Oh, okay. Ah. Be careful of what you ask. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to ask about sand people culture. Protocol. This I don't know. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that is much of a worry. I know, I, I do worry that HK would be, like, mistranslating things. Uh, history of your clan. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says oh, that he okay. will not master. There is one storyteller in each clan, and only he may receive.
sign the histories. Can we meet this one? Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Okay. Translation. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to Well, that the seems tale. very short-sighted. Ooh, how could I prove that I'm a worthy warrior, maybe? I do feel like I'm walking on eggshells. Translation. <laughs> Translation? He doesn't know, Master. His people usually kill outsiders. Since you are an outsider yourself, that would not suffice. Translation. Whoa! The challenge for a warrior is to face a great dragon, the largest predator oh my. on Tatooine. Fight one of those and bring back a for dragon history? Pro. Disgust. I think he's making fun of you, Master. Oh. He doesn't believe an outsider could do oh, such we'll a thing. Oh, we'll begin. Where could I find this crate dragon? Translation. Translation. There is a dragon in the far eastern dune. Oh. He claims you could never defeat it. Here. Oh, is a dope. Map to the area. Map. Translation. There is a hunt, a twilight. <gasps> oh, I should bring out. mission. Perhaps he would be of some help. Well, what is a dragon pearl? Translation. <laughs> Translation Stones polished in the gullet of the beast Apparently they are valuable items Okay, uh, farewell for now Translation I don't want to push my luck Translation we are I feel like if I'm like, why are you hostile to outsiders? It's pretty self-explanatory, like you know, and like they wouldn't be happy with me, like bringing that up necessarily. Sand people wicker bin. If I lockpick that, I bet you that won't go well for me. Of course, where would the star map be? Uh, I get. I guess it would be out by a dragon. <laughs> now that you mention it. I really have just put my, uh, my whole, uh, I actually forgot that, uh, Tatooine had a star map, I'm not gonna lie, and, um, just putting my whole becoming a Sith on, uh, hold, apparently. <laughs> it's okay, I've gone to get prestige elsewhere, master, is, is what I'll say. I'm just looking, oh, are these, are there more doors? Or, I don't know, this is back into that central area? <gasps> oh! I think these are these are women. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Can I talk to them? Will I get in trouble? Okay, yeah, my, my, my presence here is a barely tolerated event. I understand. I won't bother anybody. I just wanna look around. He said I could walk around, so I'm gonna. A bantha. A rag pile. I don't wanna risk it. Uh do not. Ooh, what a good idea to, like, actually search through its poop, though. That would be, that would be funny. I think we basically looked at everything. There's, like, I think a little bit that I haven't seen, but it's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Over there, but... That would be cheating if I if I got it out of the poop though. Then I wouldn't have then I wouldn't be a great warrior. I would just be a cunning one and a smelly one. Oh, is this Oh, what? Captives? What? I didn't see captives. What? What? What what? I was not paying attention, apparently. I'll get in trouble if I try to free captives though. Woods lat door. Oh dang. <laughs> There's not actual captives here. Uh yep. Just dead people. Oh wait, 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 wait. In here. Oh, little Jawas. 
I thought Jawas got along with sand people. Um, if I let you out, this whole place will turn on me. Um, um, I'll release you later. I have to make sure it's safe. I don't think it's ever going to be safe. Uh, yeah, I don't think, don't think I'm gonna free you guys. The, the tentative peace I have with the sand people is very, very tentative, and I need their help. Speak to the leader about, about the, the captives? Or... Or at least less inclined to smash your head open like a pocky grub seed. Okay. Furry, what do you wish? Oh, ask about the star map. Oh, okay. Translation. I didn't have that option before. Translation. He says that you already have a map. Oh, that he dang. See, but we will find the star map. Translation. His people yep. found it, but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took a precedence sense. in the excavation. Uh, okay, bye bye. Well, can I? Maybe I can ask that. Translation. Even though I don't know what a crate dragon is. Yeah, possibly when we have the dragon pearl. Translation. Your ignorance. Oh, that's right. That's right. He claims there is. Okay, and I need to bring. Oh, ask about captives. Eh, that's probably a dangerous question. Clarification. We must be more specific, master. They capture. But yeah, damage. maybe if I um. Never mind. Go back to the other Protocol. questions. We should not keep him long. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Oh, okay, wait. no, let's go. Uh, I almost did that one. Oh my gosh. Farewell for now. Translation. Save and ask. No. We are free to I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um. I'm gonna get the dragon pearl and then I'll come back and ask. If we can free the Jawas. I don't know, sand people don't seem much for keeping captives either, so it's a little weird. Wait, did I go the right way? No, I did not. Hey, take me back. I think I could get to the sand dunes but on the other side of this, but maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. What is it? Sand people territory. Yeah, no. I think it said to the dunes if I went this way. Maybe? No. What? Oh, okay. Maybe not. Okay. I'll just go back out. Jawas are gourmet. <laughs> also, before I, when I leave, I need to switch out. Probably. Uh, actually, oops. Um. Probably the whole squad, honestly, right now. And add these two. Oh boy. This is gonna be a problem, probably. I don't, I'm not used huh? to bringing these two out. Yikes. And I think we have to level her up like so much. Uh, dexterity. Skills Demolition. Oh yeah, we have so many points. Security, stealth, awareness. Yeah. Okay. Master scoundrel's luck. Okay, level up. I know, we haven't seen Mission. Where I can't. She's like, she was like level 12. It's like, oh, whoopsie. Okay. Sneak attack. Oh, 
jeez. Eats. Oh, what does she want? Oh boy, I don't know. What does she have? Adds three hit points of extra damage to the attack when the target can't respond to the attacker. The extra damage is applied to attacks made from behind the target against uh, attacks against stunned or otherwise immobilized targets and any attacks made while in stealth combat. Okay. And then this. Oh wow! Oh, there's like a whole bunch. There's a whole host of them. Just like sneak attack one to like sneak attack freaking twenty. Holy cow! I should start her out in stealth, and she could like freaking own. Uh, and she's. I think I've got her. I think I've got her with gun with a pistol. I don't know. Does she dual wield pistols? Is that a thing? Uh. Can he focus on the use of single one handed weapons? Oh, okay. So she does not dual wield pistols. At least we shouldn't have her dual wield pistols. Hmm. Oh. Oh boy. She has so many points. It's ridiculous. Uh, I guess. Computer? Sure. I don't know. Alright, there we go. And it's been a while since we've seen Zalbar. Uh, I think I needed a, a, he has, I had him on his crossbow, but I think he's actually more of a melee character. Now that I think about it. Uh, okay. uh, freaking, I don't know, man. Computer use, awareness, uh, treat injury. Oh boy. He's got a lot of guns, stuff. Hmm. Probably if I have him be melee, then I'll probably give him that. Oh my gosh, I don't know, man. Just take some points. Maybe give that, actually. Two. Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, we were listening to Harry Potter the other day. Like, listening to the music. And with that little Harry Potter nugget send off, go listen to some Harry Potter music, stay inside, wash your hands, and everybody stay safe and stay smart. And I will see you in the next one.